If the market's consolidating and you know the range, I know a perfect option strategy where you could make tons of money from the market trading sideways. Stay tuned. I'm Market Moves. I run a professional options trading group, and the best decision of 2020 is for you to smash that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest content every single week. Today, we're talking about an option strategy everyone loves to use, which is called the Iron Condor. I'm going to explain to you when to use it, how to put it in your Robinhood app, and the most important part, how to make money from it. So I got three simple steps we're going to go over in this video. I'm not wasting any of your time. We're literally going to go through it right now. Here's the Iron Condor. Here's Robinhood. And here's TradingView.com. I'm going to show you which chart and which strategy and what consolidation looks like. And then I'm going to go over to Robinhood, show you how to input those options. But first, we're going to start out with the Iron Condor. Describe what it is how you make money from it, and which options it involves. So I usually usually like short iron condors, and you can also do the same thing, but basically opposite scenario for a long iron condor. So I'll show you two of those in this video, but we're going to go over the short iron condor setup. And again, the arrow makes sense for what it applies for. This is when the stock trades sideways within a range. And then the long iron condor is when we get a directional move that we're not sure of, whether it's up or down. That way you can be prepared for any directional move up or down. You don't have to guess it. Once it happens, that's when you make money. The iron condor is perfect because it gives you two scenarios which basically happen at any moment in the stock market, whether it's consolidating or it's breaking out. Both of these scenarios you can make money from with the Iron Condor as long as you know how to put them into your Robinhood account, which I'm going to show you right now. But first, let's just talk about why this scenario works for consolidation, the short Iron Condor, and why this works for a directional move, the long Iron Condor. So as you can see down here, here's the graph of how you make money from this situation. And I'll actually switch to a prettier graph. So this green line is where you make money. So if the price of the stock stays within these two prices, that's where you're going to make the most money in this iron condor. So if you stay within the middle, that's where you make the most. If you go towards this part, you're making less and less and less. And once you hit your break even point, that's where you start losing money on the iron condor. So the goal is to guess the range it's going to trade within. And if it goes outside that range, that's where you lose money. But the good thing is, check this out, your max loss is defined. It doesn't go to infinity. Although you're selling options with the iron condor, you're going to short a put and you're going to short a call. Although you're shorting something, your loss is defined because you're buying a long put and a long call. So this is how it works out. You're going to short a put that is higher up on the strike price. And then you're gonna buy a put that is lower on the strike price. The difference between these is where you start losing money. So once we hit that long put strike price, that's the maximum loss we're gonna have for this stock or for this trade. Going to the other side, the short call and the long call, as long as we stay between the short put and the short call, that's where we make the maximum profit. As you can see, this is the highest green max profit. This is the highest part that green profit zone goes to. So if we fall above the call or below the put, that's where we start not getting as much payout as we could if we were between these. So again, if we go past these call strike price, that's where we're going to hit the max loss. So that's just important numbers to know. And now I'm going to show you how to apply it. So I have a perfect chart and we're going to go out for a very long term trade. This is going to be a couple month trade in Starbucks. Very easy because we've had consolidation in Starbucks for a while. And we're also getting this trend line where we're popping on top of it. This is actually play. I am playing in my premium group right now. We're trying to play the Starbucks pop on this trend line. But right here is the top of the range for Starbucks, $97, boom. I don't think price is going to go above that because as you can see, there's been a lot of consolidation up here. If we ever hit that price again, 
we're not going to bust through this consolidation very quickly. So that's how I define the top of my range. And just going back to the iron condor, this is going to be this price right here. So the call price, this is going to be the top of the range. If we go above that, that's where we're going to start losing money. That's where I'm defining the spot where I think it's not going to go above. And this is where the iron condor works perfectly. So that is the top zone. And I'm going to move this line to the bottom. So this right here is that first bottom in Starbucks. And as you can see, we have the high and the low. And I'm going to point out what they mean for the options. So here's the range defined 97 to 82. And we're shorting a call and we're shorting a put. So this basically helps us make money if it trades within this zone. Again, short put, short call. And those are the strike prices that I'm showing you right here. But now we want to buy something that is long a call and long a put, preferably a little bit higher than this zone here. And again, the further away we go, the more we're going to pay and as well as the more max loss we can have. So that is where your risk to reward might be messed up. Your The amount you can make might be less and less. And I'll show you the difference later in this video, but I'm just going to put these just a couple dollars higher. So two bucks higher for the call and then two bucks lower for the put. We'll put this at about $80. So here it is. Here's the whole play. This is what a short iron condor looks like. After this, I'm going to show you how to input a long iron condor in which scenarios that works out best. But if you like options at all, I highly suggest you just head to my website real quick, grab my free options guide. Totally free. We'll teach you all the basics, help you understand one of the stuff I'm talking. I'm also releasing a book on my best trading strategies. This is coming out in the next month. If you want to get notified when it does, just put your email in here and click please notify me. So moving on, let's input this, see how it looks on Robinhood and how to input it correctly. But first, just showing you how we're doing it again. Long put price right here, short, short, long. So that's the strategy, long, short, short, long. It's a very hard thing to input into uh, trades and it's a hard thing to really conceptualize. But once you do, a lot of people can make a lot of money from this. So S bucks is the stock we're trading in terms of options. If you want a free stock, if you haven't signed up, link in the bio for Robinhood, you could get a free stock up to a hundred bucks. So again, this is the weekly chart for Starbucks. What I wanna do as someone who's lazy, someone who wants to collect passive income, is I want this to be a long-term trade. I wanna collect five to maybe seven bucks a day just slowly, slowly, slowly with Starbucks because I know it could trade within this range for a long period of time. I'm not afraid of that. I just want to reduce my risk by having a longer term trade. And then I want to capitalize on these sideways movements in these stocks because like I said, there's going to be some intense consolidation in the market. So I'm going to go for the August 21st options and I'm going to show you how to input it and the cost of it. So again, going for that short, we're going to sell for shorting things. We're going to short that call for $97. So 97 is going to be our strike price. It's way over here on the right. So we don't have 97 exactly. So let's go for 95 just for the purpose of showing you what this is. And now let's sell a put. So what we're looking for for the put is 82. I bet you we can't. Oh, here's an 82 right here. So boom, so selling a call, selling a put, there we go. And the next thing is, and again, these are outside the money. So the put is outside the money and then the call is outside the money. So if they're outside the money and it trades sideways, we basically have these go to zero. So right now, if I just executed this trade, I would be naked selling options, but I would get $622 in my account. $622 and if August rolls around six months from now, I will collect $622. So again, just let me say that one more time. If this trades sideways for six months, I'll collect $620 pretty much risk free. But the, the biggest risk is you are naked selling here. So that's why we have to add the long options. 
Again, if we don't have these long options, our max loss is infinite. These are the only things stopping us from losing everything if this trade goes poorly. So we're gonna buy a call first. And again, I want that around $100. So boom, bought the call for $100. As you see, the amount I'm getting in my account dropped from we had 620, now we only have $508. So the most I'm making from this trade is going down because of the calls I'm buying. These are basically gonna expire worthless. These are your protection in the trade. Without this, again, you're gonna lose infinite amounts. So that's why we're buying them. They're not gonna make us money, they're just our protections. So we're paying for protection here. So let's buy that put. And that put's gonna be that $80 put right here. So I swing it down to 80 bucks. So now, real bad that I just went from $500 possible in this trade all the way to $186 because that last put I bought was a $300 put. I'm gonna show you how I can adjust this to make a little bit more money because this doesn't seem like a lot for the risk I would be taking. So what you could do is just take a put that is a little bit further away. So again, this just increases your max loss when you do this, but it also increases how much you can make. So if I take that put and instead of $2 difference, let's make it a $7 difference. So now I'm making an extra 130 bucks. So possible 130 bucks from switching those strike prices. Again, if I switch the strike price on the call up here, I think I messed that up. Let's go back, call, sell, and we're gonna sell the 92, 95. If I switch the call I'm buying, as you can see, I'm doing the 114. If I switch it to, if I go higher, 105, I'm making more again. So I'm basically giving myself another 50 bucks for this trade. So that's why it's pretty, pretty amazing. So if you can spread out those strike prices, you're gonna make more, but you're also risking more. As you can see, your max loss would get further and further down. So I'll just show you how much I'm risking in this trade. So right here, the most I could lose is this $500 difference. So five, 105 and 95 is $5 times 100 is 500. So that is your max loss is the difference between those strikes. And again, this is the short iron condor. As you can see, if you input it correctly, it's gonna show up as iron condor. Now I'm gonna show you the strategy for the long iron condor and how to input, input that. It's basically just the opposite, where instead of going long, short, short, long, we're gonna go short, long, long, short. So let's try that right here. So short call. And just a quick plug-in, if you like my teaching style, I have 90 videos on the stock market in my market domination course. Link in the bio, it'll teach you about options, charting, moving averages, fundamental analysis, everything I've ever, ever learned in the stock market, and it comes with six months in my premium group, basically $1,000 savings. So check that out, link in the bio, and let's move on to the long iron condor now. If you watch any of my past videos, this is a strangle, and a strangle is basically strike prices that are far apart, and you're just hoping for a large move. This is great during earnings season. I talked about this during my earnings option strategy video, but this strangle is very similar to the iron condor, where we're actually talking about a short iron condor here. I know I said long earlier. There's some confusion on the internet with the long and short ones. This apparently is a short iron condor. So this is basically a strangle, but you're limiting your upside. As you can see from the long strangle, your upside is unlimited, but from your short iron condor, your upside is maxed out. And this is because you're selling options up here to basically cap out how much you can make. So if I showed you this graph here, if we're not shorting these two calls and puts, that was two long options, they would be the strangle. So that's a strangle if we just go long in this scenario at 97 and 82, but because we're shorting them, 
now it's becoming an iron condor. And this just helps you lower the risk, make money from sideways movement too. And we're just gonna show you how to input this with a short call, short put, long call, long put. Real simple, all we do is go to sell first and we're gonna sell the furthest out legs. So about a hundred bucks, we're gonna sell that one. And then we're gonna sell a put and we're gonna sell one that's the furthest out. So that's gonna be the, the, the length of our range, about 100 to 80, and then going down to 80, we're selling that one. So in theory right now, just for selling these two options, we're gonna collect a premium of $436. So just showing you the process, showing you what's happening. So in this scenario, if price just say, stays between $100 and $80, we would collect $436 by the time August 21st comes. But again, we're, we're not just doing that. We have to buy the options to protect us. So we're going to buy a call that's going to be around $95, $97.95. So boom, bought that call, lowers the amount I'm going to make on this trade to $225. So that's the total credit at this point that would be going into my account. But now I have to buy that put, and that put is gonna be $82. So I scroll down $82, and now here's where the crazy part happens. Now I actually owe money to the broker. I owe money to Robinhood. I owe $186. So if I flip that, I would have got that in my account for the short iron condor. This is the long iron condor. Sorry for the confusion. This long iron condor costs money. It's going to cost me 186. The most I can make from this trade is the difference between the strike prices. So the difference between these two strike prices is $250, 2.5 times 100, which is basically double the cost. It's a it's 50% increase. So I'm paying this much. I might make 50% off of this amount. That's not too attractive for me, honestly. But right here is a five. So the difference between 195 is five. That's gonna be $500, which is basically 100% return from the cost of this investment. So if this goes higher, we're gonna make a lot more just because, as you can see, price is almost at the lower range of this trade. So for it to go super high, over 100 bucks, that's gonna be a larger move than for it to go under $82. So that's why the risk to reward is kind of better for anything that goes long because we're already close enough to our short target. So lastly, I wanna show you every trader's favorite option strategy, which is debit spreads and credit spreads. Check out the video to the right of me, you're gonna love it. So here's the thing, options are incredibly hard to trade and an easy way to lose all your money. One way to avoid that is using option strategies. So in this video, I will be 